So these would be males that have either FM7 or the pink nut B9, right? Yeah. It can't be seen by the naked eye, but these flies are exhibiting symptoms of Parkinson's disease. So we have fruit flies actually right here that have a mutation that gives them Parkinsonism. These flies have led to groundbreaking research and possibly reversing conditions of the debilitating disease through a gene called CDK8. We're able to put extra copies of this CDK8 gene back into these flies and it basically rescued their uh, symptom. We know it works in fruit flies, but how does it work in humans? Brian says we have a similar gene called CDK19. It's hard for people to, to grasp that the genes that we carry are so similar to the genes that flies carry. So it means we can basically play with genetically the fruit fly version and learn things directly applicable to the human disease. The research at Simon Fraser University is being done in collaboration with a group from Baylor College of Medicine in Texas. The data, though, still years away from human testing, but offers hope to people like Jim Wu. I believe in science. The future is still very uncertain. I understand that there's a lot of breakthroughs, and uh, in fact, there's, I just learned about one breakthrough today that might actually be very promising in the, for the future. While most consider fruit flies a nuisance, the lab at SFU can't reproduce enough of them. It's hard to reverse symptoms of a disease. You know, it's hard. you have a lot of the body parts are affected and we were able to really overcome a lot of those defects in the cells to make these flies healthier. Who would have thought this tiny little thing could one day be the final answer to a cure for Parkinson's? Emily Lazatin, Global News.